strikes him again. He said, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord. Yeah, I love you, Lord. But the Lord said, Feed my sheep. He said unto him, The third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? <laughs> so the third time he asked the Bible, said, Peter was grieved because he said, unto him the third time lovest thou me and he said unto him lord thou knowest all things thou knowest that i love thee jesus said unto him feed my sheep amen and and that's the word that i would love to leave with us tonight feed the lord's sheep somebody say feed my sheep feed my sheep praise the lord and this very week the Lord just even brought me amen to the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 where it talks about the, the, the shepherds praise God and the Lord and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man prophesy against the shepherds of Israel prophesy and say unto him thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves should not the shepherds feed the flocks? The Bible said he eat the fat and he clothed you with the wool and he killed them that are fed. But he feed not the flock. My God. It says in verse 5, and they were scattered because what? There is no shepherd. Why we must feed the sheep? Because sheep are scattered. And they became meat to all the beasts. Can that be related to what the spirit of the beast is doing? The shepherd have allowed the sheep to scatter to the beast, to the spirit of the beast of the field. One day were scattered. Hear what God said. It says, my sheep wandered through all the mountains. Oh God, if I can't finish this, I want to leave this with us as an encouragement to continue to feed God's sheep. It says, and upon every high hill, it says, yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. God have mercy on us. And none did search. So even when they were scattered, God said the shepherd did not search for them. It says, therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey. And my flock became me to every beast of the field. Because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherds search for the flock. But the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O oh shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against the shepherds. And I will require my flock at their hand and cause them to cease their from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore for I will deliver my flock from their mouth. Lord, let it not be us tonight. That day may not be meat for them. But hear what the Lord God says in verse 11. And this is where I wrap up. It says, for thus said the Lord God, behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep. Amen. And I thank God, amen, that even when we are in the lowest point, God search. God search for a wretched sinner like me. It says for a while we were yet sinners. Christ died. I wonder if somebody understand what I'm saying. So because God, I my God. So let me, let me, I can't finish this. So let me just even wrap up. The Bible said that when, when, when Jesus was about to die, Peter said, listen, I will die for you. But God said, listen, Peter, you're going to deny me three times. But thank God that even after when, amen, even after when Jesus was resurrected, he was still searching for Peter. And he said, Peter, 
lovest thou me more than listen we have a responsibility church we may not be like the bishop or the visionary but we have something that the world needs and God is saying feed my sheep I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I, I encourage each and every one of us to read this chapter when I read it I could not even I'm telling you I couldn't even go to a next chapter because this chapter just is so heavy this is what God says he said behold I even I will both search my sheep and seek them out as a shepherd seek it out his flock in the day that is he among the sheep that are scattered so will I seek out my sheep God is still seeking seeking for us even those that have backslidden God is still seeking for you just come and receive the Lord Jesus and this is what God said is as that I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the country aren't we in the promised land and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabitant places of the country God says I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be God says I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven Listen, I'm leaving one more verse. I'm, I'm, I promise, this, 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 this chapter is so powerful. It says, hear what God says in verse 25. And I will make peace. I'm sorry, and I will make with them a covenant of peace. And watch this now. And will cause the evil what? To what? To cease. Out of what? Out of the land. <laughs> why the bible said by a prophet we were preserved my god and it is through god and watch this and even stop there and they shall dwell safety for the lord is my shepherd you're not helping me now i shall not want it says for they that i walk to the valley of the shadow all right god bless you feed my sheep god bless you god bless you